So today I wanted to again talk about indicator usage and by indicator usage I mean why do people not give indicators in time on the road? <laughs> like I've seen so many people use the indicator right when they are turning and I personally feel that that is too late like depending on the speed you're going I am going about 25 kilometers an hour and at 25 kilometers an hour in one second just do the math you can convert it you are traveling at least five meters a second about five meters so when you're doing 40 kilometers an hour just on any road and 40 kilometer an hour is not any highway speed like crazy sort of thing it's just average city speeds you're moving close to like 10 11 meters a second like like <laughs> i think that was a bit fast my tempo but do you get what i mean and so when you're doing highway speeds of like 70 80 you're i don't know close to doing 20 meters a second that's a lot and if you don't see the indicator ahead of you by like at least 10 20 meters you have no time to like react to it i've had so many close calls in not just Kathmandu but just driving around the country where i've had like <laughs> these like super minor i've had like i've been saved just by like quick reflexes nothing else and like the distance between an accident happening is like this small why you might ask it's because the person does use an indicator but they use it so late i just have no time to react at all like at times i'm just doing city speeds of 20 25 30 and without an indicator i would assume your vehicle is going straight like that guy's giving his indicator i can see he's making a right but otherwise i assume he's just going straight well anyway back to my vlog on indicators <laughs> you can't bloody give your hand like that use your indicators they mean the same thing um yeah, so my rant on using indicators on time is that if I'm traveling at city speeds, nothing more, 20, 30 kilometers an hour and a vehicle like that scooter maybe wants to make a right but does not give it ahead of time, I'm going way too fast to suddenly be able to react to him or her like serving to the right. You know what I mean? Like, I find it a bit scary, honestly, how people assume that others can't predict their actions, like how they maneuver left and right, without too much of a care. <laughs> it's, it's a bit interesting to me, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Like people can't really read their minds and you have to use what's at your disposal to communicate on the road like indicators your brake lights your um, rear lights like your reverse lights sorry fog lights you have to let others know that this is what you're doing and i'm saying this because nepal is slowly looking towards a future where there are wide multiple lane roads there are high speed intersections around the country there are i don't know okay the guy gave an indicator lane change i saw it <laughs> pretty easy lane discipline is also something that i've been noticing going on like in Nepal, there are usually two lanes. One micro part there means this vehicle will have to merge onto the lane in front of me. But then, the thing is, people don't use indicators for that. They don't like communicate what they're trying to do at all. And as a result, I feel like driving in Nepal is a lot like you're 
driving safe yourself, but you're also spending a lot of time predicting what's going on where around yourself as to like who's doing what. <laughs> so, yeah, fun world, I guess. Anyway, what do you think about using indicators? Do you use them appropriately? Do you use them ahead of time? Is probably what I want to ask the most. Is there any other sort of... Whoa, what's up with traffic today? Is there any other sort of questions or comments you want to address? Let me know in the comment section below. See you on the next vlog. Yeah.